It's your old buddy Jimbo. Blue collar beer review. One beer, one take. Or in the special, the e special, the special Olympics edition, three beers, one tank. Take, take, one take. Three beers, one take. That's right. That's right, it's the Olympic edition, summer Olympic edition, blue collar beer review. Your old buddy Jimbo, I'm going to be the athlete today, okay? But then the beers are gonna be the athletic supporters, or maybe I'm the athletic supporter and the beers are gonna be the athletes. I, yes, the beers are the actual competitors and I'm just supporting them with my gullet and my review. I've got three medals here. <laughs> That's right, we're giving out medals. Well, what kind of Olympics would it be without medals? We got gold, we got a silver, and we got a bronze. That's right, it's like the Olympics. I'm feeling very Olympic-y. I'm very, yeah, I'm very Olympicized. So, it's Friday, and I wanted to do something special, and I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm putting it all on the line here. These are three big beers. All of them are different. And I'm gonna hammer these out. And then I will be the judge and jury and I will award these lovely medals. Yes, Olympic beer medals, as they were. And I will award them. So are you guys ready? We're ready for the Beer Olympics. <laughs> Let's get it on. I'm gonna introduce all three of them. I'm gonna, I'll introduce all three of them uh, one at a time. Uh, and then we'll start hammering them. And then, then I'll introduce them again as I'm hammering them. They're, they're, they're in no particular order. I just, I, I just, I had, I picked up, I had three different beers. People brought me beers. And so I'm like, and like I said, I've got a million of them in my fridge. So why not knock out three in one shot and do a beer Olympics? All right. The first contestant, competitor, contestant, uh, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Athlete, whatever. This is uh, Humble Forge Brewing Company. They're out of Milwaukee. All right. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it's a trail mix stout. Trail mix stout. Ooh, you know what they say about stouts. They're stout. I think that's why they call them stouts. It's made with uh, coconut flakes, uh, milk sugar, apricot, uh, what's that stuff? Uh, puree, uh, peanut butter powder, um, you know, water. Good stuff. Okay? And this is a, it's just a stout, plain old stout, all right? It's 12 ounces. They're all in the same uh, category as far as height and volume. Well, not volume, but liquid, as far as the liquid size goes. It's a 12 ounce can, ABV, 10% alcohol by volume. That's a big little beer right there, okay? So this is going to, this, 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 this one's got hands. This is going to throw some hands. It's going to be, this is going to be a tough one to beat. I, I, it could be the hands-on favorite. I don't know. Let, let's, let's, let's find out what this one is. Oh, this is, uh, what the heck? Kill the switch. It's only heavy. All right. This one is 903 Breweries. And this one is out of uh, Sherman, Texas. And it's a wee heavy Scotch Ale, and they call it the uh, Kilt Switch. It's a wee Kilt Switch. It's a wee heavy Scottish Ale. So, it's made, the Scottish Ale, <laughs> I like Scottish Ales too. 
This Scottish ale has, uh, it's, it's got flavors of peat in it, like scotch, caramel, like scotch, and malt. What? Whiskey, scotch whiskey. Huh, go figure. And this one's weighing in at a nice 12 ounces. Alcohol by volume, 10 point eight. It's another heavy hitter, throwing hands here. I'm not pulling any punches. These are this, these are competitors right here. Okay, our next em, our next entrance, our next contestant, our next whatever athlete. This is uh, out of Hopsting Brewing Company, and Hopsting Brewing Company is yeah, ooh, great. Grapesville, Texas. And this one is named She's Intense. All right? We had to get like the, you know, a women, you know, competitor too, you know? It's, it's the Olympics. Everybody gets the Olymp Olympic, right? Olympia, they all get to Olympia. Yeah. So, and this one is a TDH, double IPA. And everybody knows what TDH is means when it when it's paired with an IPA, right? Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> no, that's not it, what it means. It means triple, triple dry hopped. So this thing, oh my God, it's going to be strong. It's going to be dank. This is going to be dank. And it's a, uh, and it's made in conjunction with the Pink Boots Society. And um, it's a Pink Boots Society blend. So, and the Pink Boots Society, they are a nonprofit for women brewers. And they, they help each other out. It's, a, you know, uh, trying to promote women brewers, which is great. I think women should brew beer because women are wonderful. And so, We've got, we've got a heavy hitter in there. This one, 12 fluid ounces, ABV, 8.5, all right? So she's a little light on the ABV. The middle one's the biggest. This one on the other end, 10. So they're all big beers. Uh, I mean, every one of them. They're all different beers. We've got an IPA, we've got a Scotch Ale, and we have a Stout. Oh. So with all that said, I'm going to have to start drinking these now. <laughs> Didn't think this through properly. It seemed like such a good idea, but now that it's on me. <sighs> yes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to Usain Bolt these bad bears. Right? I'm just gonna, boom! It's gonna be like the 100 yard, 100 meter sprint, yard sprint, you know. Which one should I start first? I mean, we'll start from my left to right, left to right, that, that seems, that seems Olympic-ish. I don't know. The lanes, there's it's like swimming lanes, you know? There's no advantage in each lane here. There is none. I'm, I'm, I'm not a partisan judge. I'm bipartisan, I think. I don't know. I like all this kind of beer, so I just like beer. So this is, let's just, <sighs> okay. Let's just do the stout first. We're gonna go, this is, this is the Humble Forge uh, out of uh, Milwaukee, and this is a trail mix stout. You're gonna see what kind of chops your old buddy Jimbo has. We're gonna do the look, listen, and smell, I guess, because we have to. It's a part of it, right? <sighs> it's strong. It's dark, and it's got really light bubbles in it that are burning off real quick. So, and like, they're gone. So I didn't even really get a chance to listen to it, but it still is making a little bit of noise in there. 
That's odd. It's got these weird bubbles kind of on top, underneath the surface right there. They're still underneath there. I'm sure it's hard to see because this is so dark, but the top is a little lighter. So kind of looks like a soda. Yeah, kind of looks like a, <clears throat> like a Dr. Pepper. <sighs> Woo! <sighs> okay, here's to all the athletes. Fantastic flavor. Jeez. I mean, that's a big flavor in this one. You can kind of taste the peanut butter in it. And most definitely the... Uh, yeah, that, coca, that, that coconut. That's coconut. And if you've had apricots, you know, that's why that... That's why it looked so different. That's why it was that not just blackish, but it was it had that brown kind of different. Those apricots really, apricots and beer really set it off. That was a strong entry. Let's go with the uh, okay, yeah. The Kilt Switch, We Heavy, 903. We, we Heavy, out of Sherman, Texas. Ooh, that's a live one. Our next competitor is weighing in. Oh, this is, this is the big one. This is the 10.8. It's the 903. Okay. It's a lot lighter than the other one, but still pretty dark. It's got a great amber, not much of a head on it. I mean, when I opened it up, it exploded out of there. It had a, it, it was, it was very effervescent, but really not much to it. It looks like scotch, <laughs> and I drink scotch. I love it. Um, It's got that peat. You can smell that peat in it. And it, like I said, it's got that dark tea, scotch, whiskey type of color to it. Bob's your uncle. Good finish, good finish. I, you get, I'm getting a little smoky hint to it. It's that peat. I guess, I guess I can taste that caramel, but that that peat is really nice. It's it's really nice. It, the back of your mouth is, I'm, it's it actually overtook the stout. So that's that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot about this. I like it. So it's pretty good. Dang it. This is harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Our third contender. Woohoo! This is this is oh this is this is the hop sting brewing and she's interested. This is that TDH double IPA. Now, I know what you all are thinking. Oh, he loves IPAs, man. This isn't a fair competition. But in all honesty, I love IPAs. So, but I, but stouts and these Scottish ales, I've been, I've been turned on to these Scottish ales. When I was up in Michigan, I reviewed a bunch of them. And so, 
I, you know, those are kind of my new thing. And who doesn't love a stout? So I've been wavering. It, it, I, I've been torn. So we're just going to have to rip into this one. Let me clean up my glass a little bit just to make sure I'm not getting any cross contamination. I was going to get three different glasses, but I'm not that much of a professional, really. I just, I'm going to wipe them out. I think that's fair. This is the competition glass. This is the playing field right here. This is where the athletes battle. This is it. Oh, let's see what you got. And you know, this is the pink boots. I'm gonna knock this. I'm gonna knock some boots here. <laughs> Who doesn't like pink boots? I do. Whether they're for me or, you know, I know, wonderful, beautiful. My ex girlfriend loved them. She, she, my ex girlfriend loved pink boots. My ex girlfriend is my wife. You see, ex girlfriend, wife. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right. This one is this one is to my ex-girlfriend. And then we're gonna have the medal ceremony, I promise. If I'm still standing. Or I'm sitting, actually. <laughs> the Olymp Olympic athletes are they're incredible. I mean, this is this is hard work. Holy, I gotta train better. <sighs> oh. None of these, neither, none of them, of the contestants, of the athletes, had much for Brussels lace. They were all, they were all dogs in that department. But, so, no one really stood out in the lace department, or the head. Did I even look, listen, and smell that one? I'm... I could smell, I, yes, I did. I, I don't think I did. There wasn't much head on that one, and it smelled wonderful, and it looked great. So there you go. It did. It was way, it was lighter. It was a little hazy. It was, it, it, the, um, the color on this one, you could, it was, it was a little more hazy than the rest of them, but that's par for the course when you're doing a, a Triple dry, triple dry hopped double IPA. That, that's 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 a monster right there. And with all of that going on, this beer, man, I thought it was going to be dank as hell. I thought it was just going to be like eating pine cones and you know grass clippings. But it was it was wonderful. So, I thought the drinking of them was the hard part, but the sheer weight of trying to, I don't even have scorecards. How I should have, I should have got scorecards. No, I don't do scorecards. This is a very difficult decision. These are, each one of them, is just has its own personality. And, and and that's why I wanted to kind of do the beer Olympics with three different kind of beers. Because the, I know we have fun and everything, but each beer kind of has its own personality. And it's, it's like these athletes I've been watching, man, from different countries and, and or different states or different 
whatever, man, you never know what's going to show up. And then there's a fly. And you never know what's going to show up. It's just, it's crazy with these beers. You never know what these brewers are going to do. And this, 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 and that, and that. Oh, man. I almost want to stop the camera so I can think. Because, but that wouldn't be fair because that's not what I do. It's not what I do. I don't stop the camera and try to figure this out. And I don't want to drag it out. But I do want to be fair. And whichever order I pick, these are all fantastic Jimbo approved beers. So we're gonna just do, we're gonna get this out of the way. Jimbo approved! All of them, all three of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that before I award medals, all right? Because these are all Jimbo approved. These are fan-freaking-tastic beers. Do, do I do the gold medal first? Do I? Do I build it up to, or should I do the bronze medal? Who's in third place? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you. We're gonna do the, we're gonna award the, the bronze medal first. And I'm getting this out of my way. And as much as I hate to do it because I was gonna put I was gonna put my kilt on for this, but the Scott, the wee heavy Scott Ale, fantastic Scottish Ale. The peat, the caramel, what flavor? I mean, if you're a Scotch fan, this is the beer for you. It's it's fantastic, but I gotta give it the, uh, I'm gonna give it the old, I, I'm gonna give it the bronze. And I love this beer. This beer is my friend, and I'm going to be pounding copious amounts of this. I, I, I mean, if you have this beer, you know what? Some people like to uh, scotch on the rocks. They'll have a scotch on the rocks, and they'll add a little splash of soda, or they'll add a splash of water. If I'm having a scotch, I'm gonna have a splash of the wee heavy. The scoot, yeah. Cause that and some scotch, it would be like a, a Scottish boiler maker, but better. This stuff is awesome. So just, this is the beer Olympics. This isn't just a beer review. So. Bronze. Oh. Now what do I do? Now what? So, all we have left is the Humble Forge Trail Mix Stout, which was incredible. And then we've got the Hop Sting TDH Double IPA. And what does TDH stand for? Triple Dry Hopped, Tall, Dark, and Handsome. Some, some people would say I'm tall, dark, and handsome, but they would be wrong because I'm none of them. I'm, I'm not tall, I'm not relatively dark, and I'm not that handsome. Although my ex-girlfriend thinks so. <laughs> so, all right, cut to the chase. <clears throat> It, and if, if, if I, you know what? The gold medal, the gold medal, and I'm sorry, and, and I'm sorry, and you guys are going to say that I'm a homer and all, but she's intense. What a beer. I mean, listen, and it's not just because it's an IPA. I'm not, 
little snap, see? And it's not it's a typical woman. It's fucking difficult. I'm sorry. It's all the fears. That bomb. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> see what I'm talking about? She won't stay up. The, the gold medal's just too heavy. She can't. Oh, there we go. And it's just a great, it's what a great beer. I've had some really, really, really good IPAs. But that, that triple, triple dry hop, I, I don't know if I've reviewed a triple dry hop IPA. And that, she's intense. It's, it's incredible. It, I mean, it tasted so good. And then Humble Forge Brewery. I mean, that trail mix stout, it was, we started off with that and it was, it was pretty impressive. So that stout is going to get the silver. And I think, I think it's very fair. I know I'm an IPA guy and I didn't, I didn't think it was going to come out that way. You know, I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I was like, this is like girls made this, you know, I was a little misogynistic, I, uh, you know, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'm going to throw this one in there because it's an IPA and I, I, I and I, I don't want to prejudice this with my love for IPAs, but Man, I'm telling you, you need to buy all three of these. But this Hop Sting Brewing, she's intense. That's a cool, that's a cool metal beer. All right. So, with all that being said, it's the Olympics. We had the Beer Olympics on Friday. So, remember, you need to tell. If you guys know Olympic athletes and that stuff, you, you need to you, you need to tell them and all that stuff and leave a message, tell a friend, leave a comment because you're Jimbo.